Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nicklix. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to implement cookies uh, in your forms in your PHP. See, cookies are very important as they help us to store data into your browser for temporary purposes or uh, for storing some passwords or so storing some data that can be saved into your browser, uh, like browser memory for uh, a day for a year or you can specify its uh, value as you can save its data for some few hours also so it's a very important part let's see how to save data in cookies and you will be retrieving that username and password uh, if you have a, like uh, put an option put a checkbox on remember me so I have a form with username text box and the password text box. I will be implementing one more field over here that is input type checkbox and name equals to C. Name equals to C M and here I am going to say as remember me. So remember me and I'm to implement a break section over here. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to put a username. Let's say it's username admin and the password should be admin. I can put it here as password. Let's say username admin and password admin. So if I'm going to pick on remember me and I'm going to save the form, uh, you can say uh, you can uh, like set its value as login. If I'm going to click on a login and uh, admin admin and the login uh, if i click uh, if i have to check on the remember me and if i click on a login then it is going to uh, create a cookie with username and password and uh, whenever i am going to open the form uh, like again it is going to fill that username username and password over there i am going to just like uh, it's a by default user, username and password that is like coming here and we can just delete it or we can just put some another name over here let me uh, we can open it in a private window so uh, control shift n is my private window and i'm going to just check like here so we can check that if any uh, browser history has been access over here knowing history has been present over here so let's implement the cookies uh, for example uh, now i'm going to just put a form over here and uh, i can put as if not empty dollar underscore post we have to mention the post uh, the name the submit box i have given as save so we need to method a um, uh, we need to mention a method post of the form in order to use all underscore post uh, over here. So you can say username will be uh, coming into your UN variable and password will be coming into your uh, PW variable. So here uh, we can just check if username equals to admin and password equals to admin then it is going to uh, say let's say it's uh, 66 and not success so if i'm going to say here as admin and admin if i'm going to click on a login then it's showing me success because i have compared it with admin and admin and if I am not going to like uh, put a wrong password, it's going showing me the not success. So now uh, let's see how to implement cookies with the help of this checkbox. So if I'm going to put here as admin and admin, if I'm going to take down this remember me and if I'm going to say login, then I, I will be, it will be passing a new value. So for example, if we need to check what value it has been passed i can put here as dollar underscore print underscore r dollar underscore post and we can put here a pre tag in order to uh, you can say uh, i have just pressed uh, this button in order to 
say my uh, submit my form again so continue so un this is the array of dot underscore post that contains un as admin pw as admin uh, we need we have given the name of checkbox uh, as c so c is right now on because i have ticked on it so if username is admin and the password is admin uh, we can say here we can check here as if dollar underscore post uh it's c a small c if it is if its value is on so if its value is on then we are going to create a cookie uh set cookie it's un and the username that is being passed over here because i need to create a cookie at that moment if my username and password matches exactly what i have entered so uh, my username and password if it will be admin admin then only we are going to check that if remember me if there is a tick on remember me means if tolerance could post c equals to on then set cookie a cookie will be created with the un or you can say user cookie uh, user cookie that will be storing username over here and one more cookie we have to create that is user password and the password uh, and a password cookie will be created over here. so this will be the two cookies that will be created uh, at the time when a checkbox is on so let's move with a few stuffs uh, so i need to just comment this and remove this pre tag in order to just so admin and admin and if i'm going to click here as remember me so login so it's giving me the value success if i'm going to check here as if you need to check the cookies that are being stored into your browser you have in the chrome browser you need to uh, click on this i button then the cookies will be there so you need to click on a local host then cookies so this is a user cookie that is having a value of admin user password that is also a value of admin this way you can just save your username and password uh, into your cookies and uh, i have put up put up a condition of checkbox over here so now uh, like when i'm going to open again i need uh, that these values should be filled if my cookies is been created so my cookie of user cookie and password is being created so i need to put up a condition over here let's say it's value and the php tag i can say here as if not empty uh, what if not empty if not empty dollars cookie and that the cookie name is user cookie user cookie if it is a not empty then echo uh, it should be say echo dollar underscore cookie let's say it's user cookie and if uh i can put up a value over here uh, like here so if user password and i have created a cookie the second cookie with user password if user password is not empty then it is going to show me equal dollar underscore cookie user password so if i'm going to just refresh this uh, my username and password uh, like exist in this cookie variable uh, because i have created a cookie so user cookie is being not empty because it is like uh, created in your browser so uh, it has been displayed by default username and password if cookie is available then also i am going to just like uh, check on this so if i can say here is i can put it up here a condition the condition would be if not empty if not empty what it, it if not empty dollar scope cookie user cookie uh, and and if not empty dollar underscore cookie user password then it is going to show as this portion otherwise it is going to show me the this portion so if username and password exist then uh, we can say here as that it should be checked by default and if it is uh, not been existing then we can say that no checkbox should be there. so right now it's been existing so a check has been 
uh, like marked over here and if I'm going to delete this cookies, let's say these are the cookies, I just remove this and done. And if I'm now going to refresh the page, page uh, so no cookies is been existing over here, zero in use. So if not empty on this cookie, right now it's empty, so it's not showing me anything. And right now checkbox, if tolerance to username and password cookie is not empty, then only a check will be presented. Otherwise, it will be not presenting any checked on your checkbox. And if I'm going to just put up admin admin over here, so the success message has been displayed. Uh, we have not uh, checked on remember me, so not any cookie will be existing. So here becomes uh, comes a notice that undefined index C because I have not clicked on a remember me button. So C will be empty right now. So we can say here as if uh, we can say we can put up a condition over here. If not empty uh, dollar underscore post C, then only it is going to run. So we need to just uh, like check this because uh, if I'm going to say here as admin admin, then login. So right now it's I have not clicked on the checkbox earlier. It was showing me the notice. So I have just implemented a if condition over here. If not empty dollar score post C, then only this post condition will be checked and cookie will be hit. So that was all about the demo of cookie and how to create your cookie and uh, set your username and password or any form you want to save into your cookies and drive into your other page with the help of cookies in PHP. I hope you like my videos too. Do, do subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest updates of various technical tutorials in a great, with a great example stuff. So thanks for watching my video and do like and share my video.